So today on the table, I've got myself a Sony Z3, which this particular one isn't charging at this point in time. So I'm going to crack it open and potentially re uh, disconnect, reconnect the battery, and hopefully it'll fire up once more. You may also be hearing the sound of my new kitten. If she wants to look up. No, anyway, onwards to the repair. So it's been on the heat pad here for around about five, five, ten minutes at 75 degrees Celsius. I'm going to use my fin pry tool with some isopropyl on there. And let's see if we can get into that. Carving it into it just perfectly fine. Do have to be careful of the NFC pad that's currently on it. Much rather not make too much contact with that. Isopropyl is drying up on me. The phone itself, since the metal frame is getting a bit warm to the touch, especially at that 75 degrees. So from here, my current plan of attack is simply just dis disconnect the battery and re-attempt some power from there. So with that disconnected, I'm going to connect it up to a computer and take this kitten off my shoulder and hopefully this phone will power up once more. Now, I, on my little amp reader, I am getting 0 0.08 amps of power going into it, which is an extremely small amount. I'm curious if I connect the battery while it's still powered. One camera module disconnected. Sadly, not much change in the amperage. Drop the power button. No, amperage. Oh. It's actually giving me more than anything yet. So, right now, while I'm holding down power, Try and get that on the film. And blinking light. So I think from here I'm going to put this on charge. Oh, blinking light's right over here. I'm going to leave this on charge and see how it goes. Hopefully it will eventually start charging at a much faster rate. While it's here though, I might as well give it a, the charger port a clean with some isopropyl. And it's not looking too crash hot. Do that first. Battery disconnected. go back on charge for a little while and with a bit of luck hopefully this starts powering up from there. So after having this left on charge for around about an hour, after disconnecting and reconnecting, we now have power once more. So that may be a possible solution for your non-powering Sony Xperia Z3. Yeah, 
Anyway, that will do for today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.